with the starter project all set up. Next, we need to install the Adonis Stripe package, which will allow us to start accepting payments with Stripe in our Adonis JS5 application. I am going to switch to using VS Code inbuilt terminal. So I have stopped the application running in the other terminal. As always, we can install the package using either npm or yarn. I will be using npm. So npm install. The package is published under Mezelabs. So at Mezelabs slash Adonis dash stripe. Once installed, we need to set it up using the invoke command node is invoke. Then the name of the package, which is at Mezelabs slash Adonis dash stripe. This will create a stripe configuration file, a stripe contract file, so as we can have TypeScript IntelliSense support. Then to update the TS config file and register the provider inside the dot Adonis RC dot JSON file. For the changes to take effect, we need to compile the code. So I'm going to start the application in watch mode, which will compile the code, start the application, and watch for any files changes. Node is save dash w. I'm going to leave this running and open a new terminal tab where we will be running subsequent commands. The Adonis Stripe package needs to be configured with our Stripe account API keys, which we can get from our Stripe dashboard. So let's head over to our Stripe dashboard and grab the keys. We can get the keys under Developers, then Keys. Stripe makes use of two keys, which are a publishable key and a secret key. One thing I love about Stripe is the test environment which they provide. So while developing, you can make use of the test environment to build your application. Then when you are ready for production, you can switch to using production data. So these keys are for the testing environment. So I'm going to grab this. As you can see, the configuration file makes use of environment variables. So I'm going to define them inside the .env file. So stripe public key. Then I'll paste in the key I copied. Let's add back to the config file. I'm going to copy this instead of having to type it out. And go over to the stripe dashboard and copy the secret key. By default, this package will use the API version on our Stripe account. So if we head back to developers, we can see the API versions. The latest is this, while the default is this, which the application will use in my own case. Yours might be different. Of course, we can override this to make use of a different version by telling the package the version we want. We can do that by setting the API version key. So I'm going to grab this, then set it to the latest one, which is this. Also, we can specify a webhook secret, which will be used to verify Stripe webhook. We will come back to this later in the course. With everything set up, we are all set to start accepting payments with Stripe. We will see how to do that in the next lesson.